Well, here I am in Lincoln's Inn Library, and I want to talk to you about Paul and Constance, which is the second <coughs> main oral intention case that we might engage in. That's to say the next one after Jones and Locke. This is a 1977 authority, so it's 1977 One Weekly Law Reports 527. It's an interesting case, because the battle for value here is between Paul, the mistress, and Constance, the wife. And the subject matter is uh, both bingo winnings that's paid into an account that Dennis, the, the husband stroke lover, uh, had that he shared that joint account with Paul, uh, Mrs. Paul. Of course, he then, or Ms. Paul, I should say, he dies in testate. And the question before the court is the extent to which that money, so a portion of that money, half of it, is held on trust for. Paul, the mistress, and that's because, of course, he says or uses the term frequently, apparently, according to the case, that the money is as much yours as mine. Is that oral declaration sufficient to constitute a trust? Eventually goes up to the Court of Appeal, where Lord Justice Scarman makes a number of interesting comments, one of which is when he says that the money uh, as much that is as much mine as yours, that, that the testator or the trustee, I should say, um, holds out is, is the kind of language that perhaps simple, quote, simple people, unaware of the subtleties of equity, might use. That's to say that it's not, again, quote, stilted lawyer's language, but language that Dennis and his mistress might understand to constitute what we know as a trust. In other words, the Court of Appeal holds that there is a trust. Half of the money is carved out then, therefore, for the mistress. So in terms of the battle for value between the mistress and the wife, the mistress does win and manages, it and manages to carve out that money. So from here, Lincoln's Inn. Not quite where this case was decided, but certainly it's forerunners. Um, we would say that Paul and Constance is useful in the oral sense, but also because, of course, it, it moves away from the kind of terms of art that we've been used to so far in the case law that we've been looking at. 